The other day, I got a message saying that the admins of a Minecraft server had been using admin commands to obtain items that were banned on the server and were using them to kill everyone. If anyone tried to stand up to them, they were swiftly killed. After meeting with the rebellion against the admins, we formulated a plan to use a lag machine with minecart chests in order to kill them in battle and confiscate their illegal items. But little did we know, this machine would end up crashing the entire server. But before the meeting was finished, we were found. Oh my god! What the hell? As I ran past spawn, I noticed a massive obsidian box, the spawn trap. If I died here, I would be imprisoned forever with no escape and our plans completely foiled. Oh my god, they're crystalling too, dude. Oh my god, it's gonna be tight. Uh, I have wood. I can make a boat, I can make a boat. Please, please, please. Oh my god, dude. After a narrow escape, I knew it was not safe anywhere near spawn. So the leader of the rebellion against the admins and Viv and I traveled thousands of blocks away in order to begin building an iron farm to reduce the hundreds of minecarts we would need for the lag machine. The plan was for us to fill each of these minecarts with items and shoot them all with arrows at the same time, dispensing all the entities at once and lagging the admins' games to an unplayable point. We, on the other hand, would install mods that allowed us to avoid the lag, and if all went to plan, it would even the playing field just enough for us to secure a kill. However, as I unpacked my shulkers in order to build the farm, I couldn't stop thinking about the meeting with the rebellion. See, I'd noticed that during it, player name tags were disabled and I couldn't figure out why. Something was definitely not right, but unable to put my finger on what it was, I continued building. And several hours of conversation later, Hey, do you wanna hear something cool, Ro? <laughs> do you think you could put this in your butt and fart? What? The iron farm was completed. As I began to AFK it, however, the admins began to take notice of my long hours on the server, and were already trying to find me. And after what had already happened, I knew that if they did, they could easily destroy all of our work and completely stop Plan. Soon, however, all of the iron we would need had been gathered. Since we would have to lure the admins to the lag machine mid-battle, it would need to be right next to spawn. So Enfeev and I set up a hidden room nearby and began gathering leaves to fill the minecart chests. Once again, however, the monotony of the task gave way to the feeling that something was off. As I placed stack after stack into the shulkers, I looked back on my joining of the server and the invisible name tags. Something was definitely wrong. But still unsure of what that was, I eventually resigned to sleep. The next morning, I woke to a message from the admins saying that a server-wide event would take place in just three days. The perfect opportunity to kill the admins with our lag machine. The plan was to engage them in battle and lure them to the machine, at which point it would be activated. And while they were lagging, we would kill them. But at the rate we were cutting leaves, we wouldn't make it. So in order to speed things along, I began work on a melon farm that would produce items far faster than we could gather them manually. But with the knowledge that the admins were already trying to stop us, I couldn't help but worry that they would discover our secret weapon. Not far from spawn and relatively noisy, it was not hard to find at all. Especially since we'd shaven hundreds of trees nearby. Still, it was crucial that the lag machine stay in place. And soon, the melon farm was completed and I began to AFK it. But during one of my many hours spent AFKing, I noticed a message asking the admins when the end would open. As I packed melons into shulkers for transport, everything clicked. And after searching through old messages, everything was revealed. Everything I'd known about the server had been a lie. Enfeev, the leader of the supposed rebellion against the admins, was the owner of the server. And he, not the admins, had given himself and others illegal items. But more importantly, he had given them access to admin commands. I was the only one on the server without op. After making fun of me in the group chat, they all agreed to put on a kind mask and try to use me in each of their videos. I was just being strung along their pre-planned facade. I'd been used. I'd been manipulated. I'd been lied to. The only way to really describe how I felt was icky. And it wasn't even just me. They planned to lure more people onto the server and exploit them for their own self-gain, just as they had done to me. So in order to prevent this from happening, it was left up to me to shut down the server entirely. Since one lag machine was almost ready to go, all I would have to do was supplement it with another simpler machine. And with a little luck, the two together would be a strong enough force to shut down the entire server once and for all. I figured that the fight announced for two days from now would be when everyone would try to farm me for kills, but also when the most people would be online, and in turn, when the most amount of stress would be placed on the server. Deciding that the risk of death was worth the reward, I planned to have everything ready by then. And since Enfeev still believed I wasn't aware of the truth of the server, I just had to 
to hope that he planned on playing along with me until he had me in a position to farm me for kills two days from now, and therefore didn't tamper with the lag machine. However, just as I'd feared, after several hours of AFKing melons, I noticed the base had been tampered with in several ways. A newly dug suspicious tunnel, random blocks I didn't recognize, and melons freshly stolen from the storage system. Entviv had almost certainly tampered with the base. I just had to hope that the machine itself was still in working order. Soon, however, all the minecart chests were full and primed, and it was time to gather materials for the second machine. As I began placing material after material into my shulkers, however, my worst fears were realized. Another YouTuber by the name of Tyrad had been coaxed by Enfeev into joining. Others were already falling into the fraud that was the server. So after briefing him on the situation, we quickly compiled all the materials we would need for the second lag machine, and on the night before we planned to crash the server, we began building. The machine used snow golems in order to generate infinite snowballs which would then be shot out of dispensers into bubble columns, allowing thousands of entities to accumulate in a tiny area, causing significant strain on the server. With our two machines combined, it would hopefully be enough to crash the server. As we built, however, I began to worry that Enfeev would find the machine. Sitting directly under spawn and with so many entities, one glance at the wrong area of the F3 menu could alert him to its presence. But since the machine had to be at spawn because of special mechanics that allowed the snowballs to stay loaded on the server, there was nothing we could do. In addition, having neglected to message Enfeev for a while, he began to worry and suspect we were up to something. Combined with the discovery of yet another tampering with the melon base, I began to grow anxious. As the server-wide event drew near and everyone began to log on for what the server hoped would be my demise, we primed the machines and readied ourselves for battle. With Tyrad ready to activate the machines, it was left up to me to distract everyone else for long enough for the machines to work. But since the entire server wanted me dead, that would be no easy task. After the last few things were set up, however, it was revealed that some players were using replay mode, which allowed them to see through walls and teleport around. This was especially bad because one player in particular had used this to find the snowball lag machine, and if Enfeev was informed of its existence, he would almost certainly order it destroyed. As word of the machine's existence continued to spread, the possibility of its destruction became more and more plausible. Tyra, do you have gear? Yeah. Be ready to fight, because if anyone comes down here, you're gonna need to kill them. <laughs> Oh my gosh, row, row, row. Oh my gosh. Oh, frick. Uh, row, row, row. Are you there, bro? Yo, I'm back. What's up? Dude, we're like actually, I think we're screwed. Like, what? I don't know what we're gonna do. They found the snowball thing. I had to log. They're down there right now? I gotta check. I'll check and replay. I'll check and replay. Or is it? Oh no. What? It's crystalled. They blew it up. Wait, what? Oh, what do we do? What do we do? Um, we gotta use the other one, right? I mean, I mean yeah, that's our only lag machine. This is so bad, dude. Um, oh we only have the melon lag machine left, so I'm gonna stall for you while they try to kill me, and you just need to activate it on my mark, and we'll just have to hope it's enough. Okay. Well, here we go. Okay, there's two on me right now. I'm just trying to stall them. Oh gosh. Okay, I think I lost one of them. I'm gonna try engaging him a little bit here. If he's dead, then it's GG. Yeah. He's crystalling, he's crystalling. Oh, oh shoot, my I'm gosh. Oh my gosh. Dude, dude, dude. Oh my gosh. How's the lag machine working? It's not good. Is it gonna be enough? Uh, I don't know. Oh my gosh. That's a lot of damage. I might be dead. I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. Yeah. I had lost everything. Entviv had sabotaged the first lag machine and caused it to fail. With no gear, our lag machines in shambles, and having been clipped and used just as the admins planned, things looked bleak. Still, this was now about more than just my pride. If continuing might prevent more people from being used just as I had been, then continue I would. I salvaged everything I could from the remains of disaster and prepared myself for the day of the end fight. It was the perfect opportunity. Plenty of people online, but in a completely separate dimension, allowing us time to rebuild and run the machine. 
Still, this was our final chance. After only just convincing Entbeev that the snowball lag machine wasn't made by us, we were allowed to stay on the server. However, since we would be the only ones not in the end, and therefore clearly the ones responsible for the machine, we would likely be banned permanently after this attempt for trying to crash the server. If we failed here, people would continue to be abducted and taken advantage of forever. Hey guys, sorry for the interruption. Did you know that Rochambeau it smells terrible? For every subscriber on this video, he will invest one dollar into so subscribe up with notifications. You won't get that many because he <laughs> uploads once a year. Everything was ready for the end opening the following morning. We would be cutting it extremely close on time. Since as soon as anyone died, they would return to spawn and could easily destroy our machine. Although the plan was extremely risky, it was our only chance. And as I logged on the morning of the fight, things immediately went wrong. I'd been teleported away from where we had to build a lag machine with all the materials for it on me. I needed a way to slip away from the group without anyone noticing. Oh my god, they're following me. Please, dude. Oh my god, they're actually boxing me in here. Okay, I think I'm out. Okay, I'm back. What? Five minutes till everyone gets TP'd to the end? Anything on us when we get TP'd is gone, so we don't have time, bro. We just gotta start building. I'll put all my stuff in a shulker right before they TP us, but if I'm stuck down here when they TP, it's over. TPing in 60. Oh god. I literally have everything on me, bro. That's probably tall enough, right? I think so. I think so. Oh my god, 10 seconds. I'm still mining up. Please, please, please. Oh my god, we made it. Here we yeah. go. Oh no, oh no, I died. Okay, go, 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 go. Oh dude, people are already dying. I'm gonna need the chest next. Here we go. People are dying in the end. They're respawning right above us, bro. The machine is done. All right, we gotta be super quick here. Let's go, let's go. They're respawning right above us, bro. They're gonna find us. Hearing the ticks of like the dispenser slowing down. Keep it up, keep it up. It's working, it's working. Someone lag in the server. Oh shoot, he's onto us. Dude, it's so laggy. I'm just gonna throw them in okay. manually at this point. Yeah. Dude, I think they're finding right above us. If people come down here, we gotta defend this with our lives. It's so laggy. I'm, I'm gonna die from lag. This is the final stretch. We're so close. Yeah. Someone's mining down to us. Dude, oh. we're so close. Please, please, please. So laggy. They're getting closer, bro. Get ready to fight. I need to keep throwing snowballs. It's actually so strained, bro. It has to crash. Please. Dude, please, please, please. We're so close. <gasps> Let's go. Let's go. Let's nice. Go. This Holy is free. Crap. It's free. Against oh all odds, God. we done. The server completely shut down, it would be a long while before anyone else was taken advantage of. But although I was satisfied with my work, I couldn't help but feel that maybe we'd still lost. But the second I'd even joined the server in the first place, I had lost. By making this video, I'd given them exactly what they wanted. Was I complicit in their plans? And you at home who just watched the entire video, are you complicit?